Okay, I'm here in Germany, and I just wanted to show you guys this uh, fan repair. And I'm kind of a mechanical dude, and when I work on engines, I try not to take stuff apart that doesn't need to be taken apart, because then you just end up breaking stuff. So what I did here is I took the palm rest off, see? Uh, this is a Lenovo T60, and then I took the keyboard out and I just laid it aside. And then I took this little uh, bracket off here. Okay, it's one screw. It's a really tiny screw. And there it is, right there. Let's see if it focuses in on it. It's tiny and it's a Phillips. So I'm here in Germany like I said and I had to buy this tiny screwdriver. Got me a nice one here. It's a size 20. Or no, no, that's a that's a Z. Phillips number 60. So that was kind of a pain because they're expensive. I got it for about five euros. But anyway, what I wanted to show you guys is you just take a screw out here on the back of this here. There's one screw at the corner, and you just remove that one, and this this will pop up here. And you don't need to take any more stuff off than that. And uh, then, of course, the four screws right here. And then, uh, yeah, the bracket comes off, and it just lifts out, and I got it right about ready to come out here. And there's some tape. There's some tape right here, which I'm just going to cut. I'm just going to cut this stuff here. It should come right out, and there's some foam. And I'm just wiggling it out real gently there. You don't want to mess anything up. And there's the fan connector. Let's get my pliers here. Just real gently. There it is. Okay, so I've got it out without taking the whole thing apart and disconnecting a bunch of stuff that doesn't need to be disconnected. Alright, there it is. Alright, so I got the uh, I got the fan out. It was easy. Did it the quick way. I just uh, removed the keyboard and the trackpad, removed the screw lifted the bracket up and undid the uh, four screws here and wiggled it right out. There's some tape right here that needs to come up and came right out. So here it is and it's filthy. So to clean it out you just uh, remove these five or we'll just pry them up. There's one, two, three, four tabs and then there's the tape here that secures the harness so you just lift it up and as you can see this is all dust that's been blocking the airflow it was running about it was running to the limit it was a hundred degrees centigrade and it was kicking the, the machine off so that's what happens and it's filthy so what I'm gonna do is Probably get a wet, wet cloth or something and clean that out. But uh, yeah, that's as easy as it is. I wouldn't even take this off because then you're just wasting money with tape. It seems to spin okay. I might. Oh, that was easy. I'm going to wash this off in the sink and put some Vaseline on there because it's what I got it's gonna have to do well and uh, yeah hope it helps like I say is a uh, this is the quick way I did it I just removed the keyboard removed the trackpad 
There's a screw underneath here. Just one screw and I took that out. Removed the bracket, just lifted it up like this. Undid the four screws. Lifted the fan out. There's some foam. It's going to come out and then you just got to slice that scotch tape there and it comes right out. So I hope that helps out. You don't have to take everything apart or take the memory out or the hard drive. It's just another way to get stuff busted. So, yeah, I hope that helps. And uh, good luck. Alright guys, so what I ended up doing was washing this thing under a gentle stream of some hot water. And it cleaned it out really well. So I didn't use a bunch of chemicals or um, uh, blow it into the air and start breathing in some dust mites. And I made sure not to get this wet. So that's that. And I washed this out too and put some Vaseline right there. I got some Essig, Essig, Essig Essence from Reva. And this is here in Germany, so this is uh, 20, 25% acetic acid. So I use that to clean the heat sink, and it looks pretty nice. And what I'm going to do now is mix up some titanium uh, compound for the heat transfer fluid. Now this is just titanium dioxide and I bought this at the pharmacy for four euros and I use it for sunscreen, I use it for threads it works pretty well. Just gonna shovel some more of that in there. Oops totally safe, totally inert. And then I'm going to add some oil to it. It's just plain oil. Sesame oil. And I'm going to set this down for a minute. It's a little too thin, so I'll just put some more in. very much of this. Alright, there you go. So. Titanium white in there. much but that will have to do. When that dries it's going to be thick and it's going to be metal. Like I say it's oxide, titanium dioxide. So it's going to transfer the heat and it should work well. So this is going to go back on here. in there and I think that's about it it's just putting it back in so I hope this helps all right I got the four screws in and that one there and I got the fan connected it has to go in a certain way the brown is facing towards the bottom of the computer so remember that don't screw it up if you fuck it up, you're going to be in a bad way. So I'm going to plug it in here. And see if it fires up. Like I said, I didn't take anything out. 
other than what needed to be moved. So, turn it on here. 